if one looks really closely when I stomp on this, you can see, no you can't. I'm gonna do this so you can see it. All right, so there's this gap here. And if I stomp hard on this side, uh, you can see that this portion of wood uh, dips. So it's unsupported from beneath. In order to find it, I put a light, a very bright light, obviously, just over the seam. When I went downstairs, it looked like there's already something under here. The screw holes are here, and they're way too far away from the edge. So basically, this is the joist line. There was some sistering going on downstairs, so probably the old joist terminates somewhere around here, and the new joist, which is offset, goes to here. That's the original joist that I was following, which of course terminates on the beam. That's the, the other joist. So that's, that's the gap. I don't know if you can see it, but that line there represents, there's the seam, yeah. So basically I'll be reproducing this effect far enough over that I can still fit my hand in there. I guess it'll go something like that. The other joy is that I somehow have to locate precisely the right screw in this collection here. So, uh, oh, oh, the mother load. Unbelievably, I actually solved problem with uh, the magic bucket of screws. Okay, I'm going. Bye for now. That should do it, yeah? Sure. Okay. And... Alright, not perfect, but pretty good.